Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Stable Sundays training video. Now, of course, all my videos technically are never on a Sunday. I normally post them on a Sunday for you guys, but I never am training on a Sunday, so... The only reason I'm recording it a night before is because I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow, guys, and I will not have enough time to get on SSO to make a video. I probably will get on SSO, but later, later, and I just won't have, you know, the means to actually make, you know, a Star Stable video for my channel. So in this video, guys, we are reading Reddits on the why Star Stable is a scam. So I'm on Reddit right now, and I'm going to read some... As zoomed in as possible. Hold on, let me zoom in just a little bit, maybe more. There we go. That's a little better. And we will read these off. So this one is by Possum in the Roof. And this is her comment. It has gone so... Oh, it has, it has gotten expensive. If you look at the price of tax... Uh, uh, of a tax set and look of how much star coins, what you would have to buy... Oh my gosh, I can't read this. Like, it's so hard to look at two screens at once. Oh my gosh. Of how much... Oh, I can't read. Okay. How much star coins would cost to buy it? But it's not a scam. You are getting what you paid for, even if the price is ridiculous for what it is. If SSO says it's 80 for 10k star coins, and you pay 80 and get 10k star coins, it's not a scam. It's a... A transaction you are will, willing agreed to, a will, I can't read, willing agreed to, I, willingly agreed to, there we go. You don't need to buy them, I only buy them on my birthday and Christmas as a present to myself. You can compete, you can complete the game with just a starter horse, the pony and Icelandic races are not required quests to continue the story. They do, they do need to increase shilling limit though, it's not going to break the economy as there is no trading or selling between players it is necessary it is nece it's just necessary especially when the saddle can take all 10k okay so this girl this person is just saying like hey if you are willing to play the game like be willing to like know there are there are costs to this game and yes there is a lot of uh you know stuff into the game meaning like um you really don't need the game you like she said you really don't need new horses to complete the game yes they're pretty yes they're adorable but honestly you don't need you don't need you know a mustang to you know make yourself happy but if you know hey if that's if that's what makes you happy in the game of just spending your money for a game Hey, I, I, I don't, I'm not against you for that. Like, hey, that's your money. You can decide what you want to do with it. Um, I do agree with her with the limit because, like, SSO will make a limit or make a, a tax set worth 10K, like, shillings just for the saddle. And you're like, but I, by the time I spend that shilling, those shillings on that saddle, I'm going to have to go into races again, do my dailies, you know, get that 10K just to buy a saddle pad, which I'm going to have to do the exact same thing to get, um, you know, the bridle or the leg wraps for the whole set. And not even the whole set is worth shillings, guys. Sometimes some of it's worth star coins, which is kind of sad, honestly. Because, like, you want to buy a set that you can, you know, buy it right away and not have to wait. Okay. This one... <laughs> So, this, um, I think, yeah, it looks like this person deleted their account, because it says deleted, but that also might be their account's name, but honestly, I, I, I'm not against it. Um, so this person is disagreeing with the lady that was, or the person that was saying, hey, this is not a scam, you know, you're will if you're willing to play the game. They said, do not, I do not agree with this. I think Star Stable is a scam. I started playing this game a year ago. I bought a lifetime subscription. I never bought Star Coins. And I live off my weekly allowance. If we can call it that. Oh, when I, st oh, sorry. <laughs> when I started out, I did buy a new, ho I did buy a new horse. Okay, okay, okay. And every 10 weeks or so, I would buy another. But as soon as I discovered I was wanting more and more, um, more and more, before I knew it, it was on my wish list. I knew it was on my wish list was two years worth of star coins of hor in horses. It didn't work out for me. Uh-oh. 
In, I'm going to read the rest of this while I'm not training. In real life, I'm a minimal, minimalist. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is almost 9 o'clock, guys. I enjoy not having much clutter or items I do not need. This also helps me not wanting more stuff. I recently decided to also include mi- minimalism in Star Stable. In a game, I often hang around Dundle and the Wild Woods and Furgrove area. My character is part of the Jorv- Jorvik Rangers in the g- in this game, so she's a Mustang and her and her star horse, and that's it. Okay, okay. I kind of honestly, I like I like her. <laughs> yes, I ditched all three horses. I bought this. I bought during this year. If I kept them, I them I constantly wanted more ho- more horses because hey, this coat is nice. This is. This coat is too nice for my stable, and this breed, and this coat's variation. Oh, those limited edition Mackle horses look nicer too. Oh my God, I just missed a checkpoint. I'm sorry. I'm trying to like, like do this off of memory. It is not working. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, oh, and those limited edition magical horses look nice too. I felt overwhelmed by all the stuff I could buy. But I never had the money. So I decided to apply my minimalism to Star Stable. I am now playing sorry, the game with just my Mustang and my pet dog. I love that I don't feel the need anymore to buy stuff. I can enjoy the new horses in their stable or view it. It when I... When half this to the I'm sorry, I can't read this whole thing like while I'm racing. <laughs> when half of the server rides the new Dutch warm bloods, this is such a long post, guys. Like, oh my god, I literally have been reading this forever, but I get this. Uh, let's just skip. Well, in the fact the issue is get overwhelmed with choices, we need to learn to make choices. Yes, I chose to only use one horse, and that is something. Most players will find too extreme. I get that, but maybe we can all value the things we have as well. Star Stable is a fun game, online on a weekly basis for free. For it, people want to buy something. Okay. (laughs) And if you want more, they can buy Star Coins, and that is perfectly fine. But then you also agree to the deal of spending X amount of euros for X amount of Star Coins. There's a scam in that. That is part of the deal. For me, Star Stable is a very cheap game and fun and relaxing to play. Okay, so um, this person's really just making the facts like, hey, like she was kind of, she kind of said the same thing as the other person, but in a different way. She said, yeah, you really don't need all the new, you know, the, the horses, the tack, you don't need all that to complete the game. But, you know, she also is very smart with her money in the game and in real life, so she'd rather just, you know be you know just and i totally get that like you are you be you like in the game like no one's saying you need to go buy star coins and buy a horse like no one's saying that like yeah they're tempting i gotta say like whenever i see a new um model come out i'm like oh i'm gonna buy that thing like but i don't have star coins so okay um IMO's SSO... Okay, this is the next one by Waffy114. If you guys don't want your name announced in any of this, just let me know. IMO's SSO payment model is nicely made. I only... I played many games throughout my life, and they are usually made to drain people's wallets. Overpriced cosmics, stupid battle passes, pay to win, so on. Okay, I like this. I like this. In SSO, the only thing you need to pay in order to move forward is Star Rider or Lifetime, okay? You don't have to pay anything else. I don't buy Star Coins and still save up to buy new horses. Oh my god, sorry. (laughs) Fortunately, they don't add new tack for Star Star Coins, only as it's used to be a few. What? Fortunately, they don't add new tack for Star Coins, only as... It used to be a few years ago. Oh, okay. She's just saying, like, they they don't, you know, they don't add the tack. Like, they're not just star coins. They're shilling, too. Okay. But if you aren't satisfied with the game, you are free to stop playing anytime. It's okay if you don't feel the joy anymore. Aw, I like that. <laughs> I just like these people's posts because they're, like, they're refreshing in a way, but they're also, like, hey, you know, 
you don't have to do the way you like you think you need to do this like play it as you want to play it and that's that's cool i like that i forgot my audio is on and i'm sorry if you've been hearing an echo the whole time i keep forgetting like somebody i keep forgetting that somebody's gonna be like oh there's echo in your video right now and i hate it <laughs> all right this is by ghosty I saw someone use Fortnite as a way to try to approve SSO was expensive once. Despite it being a lot more expensive than SSO, a lot of these people don't seem to realize just how badly inflammation has hit Europe and how hard it has to it is to pay your employees, especially that area. The UK has been hit as hard as well. They seem to think money is going into the CEO's pockets. No, it's just to keep the game going and pay employees. Without the money, we wouldn't get weekly updates. Pretty much all the games people are mentioning in the comments don't get this. We don't get a game. We didn't get... We wouldn't get a game. We wouldn't get these events. That's true. Um, A lot of people think that, like... I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to, like, pick a side or anything, guys. But, like, there are some... <clears throat> there are, like, people that really do not, like, when people charge a lot of money. Like... Because, yeah, like, right now in the U.S., like, I live in the U.S., um, like, star coins right now, yeah, yeah, they're obviously very expensive. But, like, that is because, you know, everything that's changing in the world, I'm not going to say what, but, you know, because they said in the paragraph, inflammation, like, that's one of our problems right now. And, you know, Europe is diff has a different currency and different... I don't know how you could say it, like, different, like, I think every, like, I don't know how much, I don't know how many euros is a U.S. dollar, but that's why it's so expensive, because, like, I think euros are cheaper than dollars, I think that's true, and so, like, to us, it looks really, really expensive, and yeah, I bet it looks expensive in the, you know, UK and all that, but, like, yeah, I don't know, but... It's just, like, a lot of people do complain about the prices, but honestly, it's just how it's got to be because Star Stable is not a one-person type of company where they can just, like, hey, I don't need money to keep this game going. I can just, you know, put this for really cheap, you know, and don't have to pay anyone for it. But when you have a really big company like Star Stables, because I see all their posts, like, on Instagram. They have, a, like, a big office and everything and I'm just like, yeah, there's a reason why it's so expensive. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, um, there's one by Jessica Colborn. They're not scamming anyone. Expensive, yes. Not scamming, though. They don't meticulously take money from you. You willing to pay. That's true. Like, they're not, like, trying to get you to accidentally press the pay button. Like, they make sure that, like, you know, like, you're paying for this. Like, we're not going to scam you out of something that you, you know, you, you, how can I say, you, uh, you happily, you know, press the yes button to. Like, if they were scamming, they probably would, like, say, hey, oh, we're selling star coins for this much money, but in reality, it's this much money, and we're just scamming you because, you know, we know you're going to pay it if you don't know the, you know, it's, they don't do that, because if they did that, that would be such, like, a hard, like, how can you say it? It would be such, like, a scandal, like, like, literally the, like, everything would be involved, like, um, investigation be undergo with them scamming people out of their money, and people would, you know, report so many things about this game, saying, hey, my kid just got scammed out of $30 of star coins, and she only got 100 when she should have got a 1000 you know? So, like, honestly, they're true to their heart and what they say, and yes, there's, there's, like, it's just like any other game. There's gonna be problems, and I actually had a time where I thought SSO was a scam because when I was younger, I bought Lifetime with my mom's credit card out of out of her knowing. Don't worry, I didn't steal her credit card. But out of my mom knowing, I asked her if I could buy some, st you know, buy Lifetime. She's like, yeah, totally. So I bought it and I get in my account and it's not on my account. I literally go around 
and I click on the store, it says you have to be a star rider, and I'm like, what is going on? I try to take the trailer, it says you need star rider, so I'm like, this game is a scam, it literally just scammed me out of money that, you know, I didn't get anything for, so I thought, honestly, it was a scam, but it, I think there was a big glitch going around where, like, people's payments were going through, but the item they w- they paid for didn't, so it was, like, a big thing, um, Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying. Let me. I'm trying to think. Uh, hold on. Let's see. So this is by Smart Cable Six. What I think: either you want to spend money or you don't. Don't say it's expensive if you're willing to buy lots of horses. If there's a mechanism of getting a horse without spending real money, and there is, you have no right to brag about the prices. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing. It's like, it's. I just love people's opinions. I love hearing people's opinions. Like, I'm not on anyone's side. So don't think I'm, like, choosing on anyone on here. Um, as long as people are willing to spend the money, then, then the amount is fine. You have to be patient. That's it. Oh, my God, horse. Sorry, hold on. I just got stuck, and it's making me mad. Okay, go, 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 go. <clears throat> you just have to be patient. That's it. I played since f- 2014 for free and bought Lifetime last year. Until last year, I only played with Star Raider Redeemer codes and was able to reach level 22. Oh my god. So the only amount of money I put into the game was Lifetime membership. And honestly, no other thing makes sense. If you calculate it, you always pay more for more for subscription. That is true. Um, I actually, I'm proud of this woman for, like, for this, I'm sorry, for this person to understand that, or I'm just proud of her that she made it so long without actually buying one star coin or, like, one membership, and all she used was codes. So she probably, you know, used the free star codes and Wow, I'm like, I couldn't do that. I honestly would go insane. Like, it sounds bad, but I'm not that patient. I'd rather just do it and get it over with than having, oh my god, that's that's crazy. I'm actually proud of that person. <clears throat> okay, um, one person said, I've said it before. I bet the current team wishes they could completely axe the lifetime option. It's the only way to make SSO affordable for the average gamer. Um, this game is on the ropes. They have a game full of nostalgia-driven players on Lifetime and no way to make them pay more. I'm so confused about this comment, but I think I know what you're saying in a way. Like, I think they're saying, like, if they could, they would charge a lot more for membership, but they can't. I think is what this person's saying. I'm not sure what this person's saying. I'm sorry if I can't understand what you're trying to say. Um, but I think, yeah, I think axing means, like, either taking it... F- or maybe they're saying, like, making sure that they can't get it. Like, you have to pay monthly, you know? Because um, they would make a lot more money that way, I think is what they're saying. So, I think. If I'm wrong, comment down below what, what they're trying to say me sound exactly. Um, let's see... Um, these people are just replying to each other, so I'm sorry if this... Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It sounds like you're falling out with SS... You're falling out with SSO, and that's okay. It's normal to take breaks from a game if you aren't enjoying it anymore. Having played many other MMO slash free-to-play games, SSO's monetization... I can't read today. Monetization is one of the fairer options out there. You don't have to buy a new horse. There is no in-game advantage to buying a new horse. There's basically just only cosmetic choices. Oh, that's that's true, though. The cost of horses is a lot. But if you only buy the largest bundles on double star coin weekends, that works out at 10 horses, and you get more star coins for your money than only buying enough star coins each time. I, th- I think I know what that means, <laughs> but I, I get what they mean. They just, like, there's no, like, there's not, they're not saying, like, hey, if you buy the new Mustang, you're going to be the fastest in the whole game. Like, they're not saying that, 
Like, I think the Arabian Gen 2 Arabians actually are fastest in the game. But, like, it doesn't mean you have to buy one to, you know, be the fastest. Like, it's not like a car game where, like, if you don't buy a Bugatti, like, you're not going to be fast and you're not going to beat any of us, you know. Okay, let's see. We're going to do one more race and one more thing because this video is already 21 minutes long and there has not been one edit. Oh, I hate when I do that. I do always do the guarding thing. Okay, let's do this by Honey. I think Star Stable price is more than okay. I've had Lifetime ever since I noticed, noticed I do enjoy play, playing this, and it's been like seven years at least. It sounds like a lot initially, but in very men... I can't race and do this, guys. I'm so bad. I need a way to do this without having to crash. Maybe, maybe I'll do like a... A voiceover next time because oh my god racing and reading these are so hard <laughs> okay let's see it says like initially but a variable minimum price over time after buying lifetime i haven't really spent occasional double double star for a birthday gift over or whatever i think big i think bigger problem is the content okay uh, not the price. Compared to other games, SSO is very reasonable with pricing. Especially when you consider that most things you buy aren't necessary at all. Buying things in this game is practically nothing more than a cosmetic. It doesn't really change the gameplay. Oh, I hate my game right now. Sorry, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to race, but I'm getting frustrated reading these questions because I keep running into things. With Lifetime, I can dip out for months and then come back and buy one or two new horses or whatever if I want to. So, it sounds like you're not enjoying the game that much right now and definitely recommended just taking a break. <laughs> All these poor... Oh my gosh. Okay. So, yeah, that is true. Like, if you guys do ever buy Lifetime, it is a very big advantage because you honestly don't have to worry about the membership having to cancel out if you you know you cancel it or you cancel the card or something it just goes on it's just like a it's a lifetime literally your account can't get canceled i don't think you know if i that's the thing about life what keeps me going is that i bought a 70 75 dollar membership that keeps going and i don't want and that's like i don't ever like cancel it or like cancel my account because i just wasted all the money that I bought star coins with and what I bought with my membership. So yeah, that's not that's not a thing I want to lose. But anyway guys, that is going to be it for the training video. I will try to do a voiceover next time if I'm going to read the rest of these. But if you guys want a part 2 for our next Sunday training video, let me know. And yeah guys, I will see you next video. Bye.